Little Peppers. We get paid to have fun. So we're here at Dark Sky Brewing in Flagstaff, Arizona. We got over here and got all parked. And we're going to do our usual a sample tray right here. Mm -hmm. Give you a little look around the room. They have a lot of cool places here in Flagstaff. We didn't, weren't sure where we're going to eat, but here they only have pizza and men's kind of beef, uh, gluten free, and not eat grain. So we'll probably move on somewhere else to eat, but we'll start and have a few beer samples. Yeah. Oh, I did. I'm going to show. Here we are. Looking at some of the beers on the board there, look at all those yummy, yummy, yummy. What one are we going to sample first? Well, let's see. Pull them over by you so you can get at them. Okay, I think we're going to try the Dunkel. That's the Dunkel, really? Yeah, the Dunkel is a German style. It means dark, dark wheat. Lager. Dark wheat is what Dunkel means, I believe. Yeah, it's a German style dark lager. Okay, lager. take a sip of that, baby. Oh, that's good. Delish. It's not bad at all. All right. Dunkel. Dunkoff Dunkel. That's what your brother Brian made a beer like that. Dunkoff Dunkel. <laughs> He's got ass or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, though. How is it? That's good. That really is dunkel. I thought it would have been darker, but it's very tasty. It, it is. It's an interesting dunkel. It's, it's not that dark. It has kind of an ale taste. Yeah, it's really good. Let's so he's drinking a West Coast style IPA that has strat. Is that strata? I don't know that hop. Idaho 7 and... Centennial, it looks like hops. Idaho 7, I usually like that hop. So we'll see how that goes. Is it good? It's good, it's that Idaho hop. I love Idaho 7 hops. Yeah. Mm. So this is the West Coast style IPA that they had with the Idaho 7 hop. Man, you can really smell that. It's unique smelling. Mm. That's delicious. That is really good. I love that hop. Idaho. No, Utah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I like Idaho salmon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so over here I noticed something. Oh, look at this beer. If we Astro zoom in, cookie. I happen to notice this. It said Astro Cookie. We didn't get that on our sample, but we might have to try it. Yeah, we will. Um, we it's usually condition uh, beers on like bourbon or you know, wine barrel aged or whatever, but this one is on 1,000 Oreo cookies. Yeah, see that Imperial Stout that condition on a 1,000 Oreo cookies. It has an alcohol of 8.2%. Wow, um, IBU, remind me what that is again. International Bittering Units. 42. So that's going to be real A little bit hoppy for a stout. Yeah. Not usually. Alright, well we'll get on with the samples. Please do. Here. So oh, shall I. Oh, so we've got a hazy New England style IPA called Count 'em Up. It's up there. A triple IPA. Zoom in here. Count 'em up it's right there. Ten, oh, that's 10%. I wonder. Oh, yeah. 10%? Wow. So let's have a taste of that. That's your pizza, though, right? Okay, that's most important. That's good, but it's almost too strong for me. I thought it was uh, pretty darn good. Tasty, but a little heavy on the alcohol. Uh huh. <laughs> it was. Okay, well, we'll continue on. Woo -woo. Okay, next beer. It's a black up. lager that has smoked malt in it, of all things. Try it. Can you smell it? Does it smell oh, smoked? The ghost of perdition. Ooh. Smell it. Is it smoked? It feels like one of those barrel aged sweet ones. Well, I hope not, but drink, take a sip. You're not. Yes, I will. Ready to. Okay, here okay, we go. Okay, take a sip.
Wow, that's not bad. Can you taste the smokiness in it? Mm, yeah, you know, and it's not too sweet. It's not too malty. Well, we'll have to check it out. It has a good carbonation. And the smokiness you and can smoky, actually taste. Smoky, it's really kind of burnt. Black well, I'm going to have to try it too. Burnt. It's burnt. It's a yeah. burnt beer. I love it. I'll give it a shot. Okay. So, so this reminds me of a dream I had the other night. Uh, and <laughs> I died in my dream. So. I know. Don't you hate those kind of dreams? And so then, this, what's, yeah. it called? what's this beer called? It's called Death's Door. Uh, what is it though? <laughs> It's a roasted porter conditioned on hazelnut, coffee, and vanilla. So it's a hazelnut, coffee, vanilla porter. Let's try it. Give Why that not? a taste. I, I have a new admiration for porters. Like we showed you the other day where we had the other one that was the pecan porter. How is it? Wow. It's, it's like, is this cold burnt coffee? Is it more coffee-like, or can you taste the vanilla and hazelnuts? Oh, yeah. It's like it's the flavored cold burnt coffee. Well, or just coffee? You don't taste the other? Oh, yeah. I taste all kinds of stuff. In well, I'm going to have to try it's it that now. that cold burnt coffee taste, and it's not too sweet. I Yay! I see what you mean. I smell the cold burnt coffee. Now I'm going to... Wow, I tasted all the hazelnut. Oh, you yeah. smell the vanilla more than taste it, but you taste the hazelnuts. Yeah, I like this porter, too. This is a thumbs up one. I like it a lot. That's so robust, man. That's Good like... winter hearty beer. <laughs> you took the love words right out of my mouth. Oh, that is winter, just like the These old man here. winter. These guys are really good. We can recommend this place. Or, you know, Definitely. winter is kind of like... Mm -hmm. Winter is uh, kind of like death's door, right? <laughs> Everything's dead. <laughs> so it's a good winter so brew. <laughs> okay. So this next one is, what were you going to say? Go ahead. This is the Easy Drinking Pilsner. One of the most popular beers here. It's a New Zealand Pilsner. That's really different. Wow, with Revolution Blend Hops. I've never heard of this I haven't hops. either. That's interesting. 100% with New Zealand beer. Well, take wow. a sip about New Zealand wines can be good, but I've never had a New Zealand beer. New Zealand beer by way of Australia. Yes, take a sip. You can't just sip this. You got to take it more than a sip. Oh, good. It's really fresh. It's really fresh, crispy, Crisp. and light notes. It's easy to drink. This is an all-day drinker. Nice. Absolutely. absolutely. You say absolutely too a lot. Do you like that beer? Absolutely. Awesome. We have a new YouTube star over We're, we're, we're going to be on YouTube with this, I hope. <laughs> not, not right now. We're just in the process of doing some footage for a possible, well, we are going to do a YouTube channel about our travels, and a lot of it includes breweries. So we will uh, hashtag Dar Dark Sky Brewing when we do. So. This is the owner of Dark Sky. We have no he wishes. I'm not the owner. We don't have a name for it yet, so we can't quite reveal that. We need to trademark our name, so right on. in the working, so what's your favorite beer so far? Oh, um we like I like that beer a lot. I like the porter a lot and I like the the hazy, the count 'em up hazy. What's I like yours? The, I obviously like the death store. The West Coast IPA, West is my favorite. Oh I like that too. That's good. I love Idaho Seven Hops, though. So I love them bitter. I love yep, them bitter. Yep, me too. Thanks uh, for your input. You know, we go to breweries. Like we were at a brewery last night. We go all over Amarillo. the nation. Where were you at? Amarillo, the big Texan. What brewery were you at? Just famous. at the big Texan yeah. brewery at the big Texan yeah. steakhouse. They have. Yeah. They make their own beer there. And, oh my okay. God. Their it's beers weren't good. that great but, that you know, last night. They had some bad batches last night. I don't know. You know how batches go. They had yeah. two that were really good, but the others I didn't really care yeah, for. Yeah, sometimes you get some impurities and like yeah. fermentation doesn't go as planned. Something, and, yes. Um, I have sometimes not. Sometimes it's just like hard to take that loss. So like selling the beer is just better than taking a big loss. Right. But, um, we we haven't had really any mistakes. We haven't had to dump any beer for quite some time. The last one we dumped was a. West Coast IPA, I believe. Right. Um, 
And what happened was our glycol shut down, so... The, what the, shut down? A glycol chiller. Oh. Which means it, that's just what keeps the beer cold. Um, so the beer couldn't stay cold, couldn't ferment at the right temperature, and... Was it a lager then? It was not yet. Oh, because usually an ale doesn't have to be at a held at a real strict temperature. Depends on the yeast strain. Right. But most of the time we ferment our beers around 60, 65 degrees. So you do that, ferment them at a lager temperature, but just not as long as, I don't... Um, usually, typically with our yeast, we'll turn beers around in two weeks. Yeah. Typically. And sometimes even less, like our hazy IPAs, we could... We could if we Are really you one to. of the brewers? No. Because I'm trying to explain to our crowd about beer a little bit. A lager is typically fermented for like two months at 54 degrees. So and with a lager, yeah, you use a, a lager yeast. A lager beer, yeast, of right. Um, but those beers are typically fermented at a lower temperature. Um, what we do is we, we kick off fermentation around 65 Right, it sit for a couple days, and then we slowly knock it down. Right, until um, you get your your gravity reading that you need for the alcohol content. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what the thing is about a little a little uh, let me intercept here. Interject. Is interject. Yes. <laughs> intercept. <laughs> I was watching the football, football game. Oh, intercept. <laughs> uh, interject here. Did you know that lager beer? Uh, was the reason? The reason they invented refrigeration. refrigeration. Of all things. It is. Yeah. You can be in our... our we'll get another YouTube stuff. Yeah, there uh, we go. I yeah. did not know that, so they agree. Yes. What, there's a show about that. I forget uh, what it is. But I'm blown away. Like a, really? Like a, refrigerator? Well, I can uh, understand that. Re beer is the people most like beer. to invent refrigeration for. It is. You know. I guess they must have just been brewing beer at different temperatures, and they just found different results every time. They did, night. and they found that it worked better at a, the colder temperature for what they needed, and it kept longer. And so they figured out how to keep it cold, and that's where the... What you, what's in, your guys' names? Um, we're the Harrisons. The Harrisons. Mm -hmm. The Harrisons Homebrew. Well, I did have that. Yeah. I did. I homebrew. And we did call it that when we did it. That's awesome. But... You know, there's so many good beers out here. We want to just travel around and drink them and vlog about it instead. So we made a homemade wine called Jesus Juice. Jesus Juice. No, it, was, it came out kind of like that kind that they serve in temples and you know yeah. the sweet stuff. That's why we call it, it, it that. It turned into more of a port wine. Yeah, it was a mistake, but you know what? It was good. Maybe sometimes the mistakes are that. It's true. Yes. Well, anyway, this let's... This is one of the yeah. better places. I, we, I, really I have like not disliked here. any beer here, and that's rare because you usually like three or four, but I like them all. And we test beers out coast to coast. Yeah. We, we for kind of perfected beer across a lot of categories. We do a lot of different beer. You guys styles. seem to have more, like, new, innovative, you know, different ones, not just your typical stuff, so... Yeah, we, we like to mix things up. We like to have something for everybody. That's why we chose to come here first. So Some of these we'll IPAs see. actually rival the Tower beer. That Tower the, Station's the Mother, good. Yeah, Mother Tower Road. Station. Mother Road. That is at. good. Oh, well, last we got to get that other one in a minute. Let's uh, finish yeah. this off. And thanks for talking with nice us. Talking. Not much of an IPA guy. I'm a hazy IPA girl all the way, and if hey, I could, yeah. I would live in New England just to drink those. <laughs> We've been there and sampling them all the way to Maine, and they are good. There is Did something you hear any in the major ones like Treehouse Brewing and Trillium Brewing, and LIC. And no. Our best idea was in San Diego, uh, town outside of San Diego. Well, that's one that you like. That was just Coral's a West Coast bad. style Coral's IPA. Yes. It's, no, it's uh, Virgin Brewery. Virgin. 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 Yes. They make some good beer. They had some good IPA. That's yeah. his favorite. I like more yeah. of the AZ, but I did like that one so too. So good. I normally don't drink IPA, but wow, Virgin. That one. They have people lined up for that. Stuff. So take a sip of this Rainy Days, which is the house hazy IPA. I mentioned the fresh seafood right from the ocean. It's a hazy IPA, dry hop with centennial lemon drop hops. I don't see the Idaho 7 in that, but he said there was, but oh, oh well. It'll Idaho be good. 7 is in here. I don't see it. He said there was. Well, we'll look again. No, not in the rainy. Okay, after talking about this okay, beer, sip good. it now. Rainy days. Rainy days. I read all about it. Sip it. Here we go. That's not bad. 
I think this is kind of like your citrusy that, kind of IPA. Is that one of mine? You like. I like the other one, but it's a bit strong at 10%. This other one is at more like 6.8%. I think a little you're better. Like this. Okay, really let me try it. Here you go. Go. Wow, the smell is really unique. What is that smell? Lemon. It's lemon. They use lemon in the brew. Oh, it's a lemon drop pop. Huh? I'm not sure on that one. First taste, eh. I don't care for it. Is that weird? Oh! The first one I don't care for. It's <laughs> okay. okay, I drink it. Don't get uh -huh. it's wrong, but it's not my favorite. Let's get a couple more and... All right, sounds good. We can have a few more here. Okay, you finish that one off. Well, look at this. I am not a sour girl at all. This is a sour we're going to try. Hopefully you like Okay, so this is the Ebene Ebenezer. Smoogee. Smoogee. Which is a sour beer. <laughs> With orange, like plum, cherry, cinnamon, and vanilla, and cranberry. Plum, cherry. Wow. That, no, it's cranberry. First one ingredient, cranberry orange. The, the Happy Thanksgiving. Right, if, I, if this is not seasonal, I don't know what is. We'll sip it and see. I usually don't like a sour, but who knows. Well, we'll call it Ebenezer Cru uh, Scrooge, along with the cranberries, right? Yeah, sip Here it. Here it goes. Not tip it, sip it. <laughs> is it really sour? That has a lot of flavors. No, it's not. It's actually really well, good. Well, I'll probably actually take a taste of it then. Of course. Let me have a little more. You can. Yummy. Okay, so Shelly is not a sour girl at all. And I just, I talked to her into taking just a sip of this, and my gosh. It's going to be filmed on here with it, but. She loves this. That's what it tastes like to me. <laughs> exactly. Look at this. Sour cherries. She oh. loves them. And she tastes that more than the cranberry. But this is, is cool. So this one is the Astro Cookie. This <laughs> one is the Cultivating Mask. Okay. Any other cool? Sounds good. We'll let's, have to remember that. Let's try those. We can't forget. <laughs> no, nope, we won't. So after touting that uh, cookie beer, we're going to have a, like we told you, it's a stout that's fermented on 1,000 Oreo cookies. So go. How does it taste? Is I was it... kicked out of my friend's house at six years old for stealing their Oreo cookies and uh, never allowed back in there. So be, being the son like of a dentist, right? And wasn't <laughs> allowed to have sugar very much. Okay, smell it. Does it smell like cookies? Ah, man, there's Oreos in here. Mmm, I love Oreos. Where's go. The ice cream? Oh, that would be good. You do a float. You know how they do the Guinness floats? You do a... An Oreo cookie float with that beer. Ooh, is it not, good? It's not over sweet. I thought it'd be too sweet. It's no, not it's point. not always it's just like sweet though. Malt, but it's <laughs> really good. I want to try it. It's not bad. Yummy. Okay, this is the cultivating black mass. Oh, I mean Irish black mass. Is that black something like that? Mass. I don't know what that is, but I've heard of it. What it's does that have in it? Brewed with chocolate. And Himalayan sea salt I know, for all that, you elf freaks out there. I know, like us. We love sea salt. So Take a taste. Goes. Wow, that's an interesting tasting beer. All I can say is I haven't been to a brewery in a long time where I like almost every single beer. This one is it. Come to Dark I Sky this Brewing. This is, this is definitely uh, like a black beer. Black lager type beer. Really? That's a stout, so yeah. that surprises me. I'll have like, to taste it. I like it. a hint of salt and chocolate. Good. Go. This is their version of Kolsch, which uh, they brew in a German style. Is this a lager or an ale? I didn't see. It could be a Kolsch, which means that the beer is fermented top down. Okay. And most of it is made from bottom. The bottom up, yeah. Um, so the. I can't see that far, sorry, Lynn. Read it. As okay. Pilsner Malt Nogo. Read it with from the side. You can. It's okay. got uh, Hallertau hops. Wow, this beer know. has anyway, a, has lot, a lot, lot of German character with uh, it really does. notes of biscuit. Is that biscuit? Yeah, it's really? biscuit. Biscuit, uh -huh. pear, and white grapes. Oh yeah. I'm gonna taste that right now. 
Oh, it smells good. That's a really light cold. You can drink that all day long. Well, thanks for sharing with yeah. me. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh. Right there. There we go. Better have one. <laughs> okay, so this is the... No, I already read it, so go Kolsch. ahead. Kolsch. Now, she, she I couldn't read it all. Long and middle, middle from hops. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, and fruity. I have not heard of those hops. Radizian aromas. You can tell that we haven't brewed for that. You know, it's been a while. It's been Some a while. of these hops are newer. These are newer hops. Or at least I didn't use them. Anyway, when we this is cheers to the hop queen. I am the hop queen. The hop queen of no, Belgium. They, they actually have a hop queen in Belgium. Look it up. It's really fun. I should Google that again. That <laughs> okay. was really fun to so watch. So here goes. Drink it. Wow, that's really light. It's so you can drink crispy. it all day. It's an all-day beer. Yep. You can drink hey. this by the pool. Yummy.